The Gardevoir League Battle Deck is out now, and whether you bought it today at launch or you're considering buying it in the future, or you, you bought it in the future, I wanted to take this opportunity to share a way with you to upgrade the deck. I mean, it does play pretty good out of the box, but you can take this to the next level with a couple of upgrades. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me walk you through my upgraded Gardevoir EX build using the League Battle Deck as a base. And if you are interested in just jumping to here are the cards that I added, use the timestamp here. And if you want to look at some cards I didn't add, but you can consider adding to this deck, use the timestamp here. Let's start with Gardevoir EX, the star of this deck. It is a stage two Pokemon, 310 HP psychic type with the psychic embrace ability, which lets you accelerate as much energy as you like from the discard pile to your Pokemon. Now your Pokemon take 20 damage for each energy you accelerate, but that actually works to your advantage because your attackers do damage relative to the, it's proportional to the amount of damage you take. So Drifloon and Screamtail do more damage by having more damage on them. So having that damage on there is awesome and being able to accelerate uh, as many energy as you want is an unreal ability. It's attack miracle force for two energy does 190 damage to two psychic and a colorless does 190 damage and you recover from all special conditions. It's fine in a desperation attack, but you don't really want to be attacking with Gardevoir more often than not, which is fine because you have a number of great attackers in the deck. We have a Drifloon, for example, which Balloon Blast for two psychic energy does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. It's going to tap out at 150 before any sort of damage modifiers, but with a Bravery Charm, it's hitting for 300, or with a Luxurious Cape or a Hero's Cape, it's going to be one-shotting anything in the game. So this is an absolute unit. Screamtail also can hit for a ton of damage. It does less generally. However, you can snipe with the Roaring Scream attack where you can even hit the bench. And when you got a Luxurious Cape or a Hero's Cape on there, you can one-shot anything in the game as well. So unreal firepower with this deck. We also have Mew EX, which is a an interesting inclusion. Not every competitive Gardevoir deck does use Mew, but some do, uh, including at least one build I saw that made top 16 at EUIC. I think it was Piper Lapine's build has the Mew EX in it. Apologies if I'm wrong there. It does have the ability restart. It helps you draw cards, draw up to three. It does work as a free retreat, which can be nice. And genome hacking is a very cool attack. Lets you copy your opponent's active Pokemon's attack as your own. So there could be some very cool opportunities, for example, to blast the Giratina V-Star with Lost Impact or copy Moonlight Shuriken as a snipe option. And we've got, yeah, lots of great attack options in this deck. So let's start with the, the fundamentals here with the 4-4-2 line of Ralts, Curlia, and Gardevoir. We are going to keep the memory skip Ralts in the deck. I do recommend upgrading these to the teleportation burst with the 70 HP. I figured in the immediate term, you don't have to rush out to get an extra three Ralts's. So we're going to leave the 60 HP Ralts in here for now, and we'll get back to cards I would recommend adding here as well. For Curlia, absolutely important card in the deck, lets you discard a card and draw two cards. And one of those cards could be energy, which is great, getting that in the discard pile for Gardevoir to accelerate later. And I took out one of the Gardevoirs from the League Battle deck because we only really need two. Three is a bit too much and clogs up the deck and we want to use room for other stuff. Like two Drifloon, I took out one Drifloon and made it two. Some competitive lists you'll see will have only one Drifloon. I personally hated that. I found my very first match testing with the one Drifloon. I played against Arceus Giratina and they pulled out Lost City and just sent it to the Lost Zone. I personally just prefer two. But if you're not going to have two Drifloon, you can squeeze in something like a Flutter Main or a Klefki in this spot. We have, yeah, the, we added the Scream Tail. That's new. To, that's not normally in the League Battle deck. Definitely think you should have that as a another heavy hitter slash snipe option. We have some bench protection now in the Jirachi and the Manaphy. Manaphy protects against damage, like a Moonlight Shuriken attack, and then Jirachi prevents against damage counters from basic Pokemon, like Sableye's Lost Mine. 
Uh, we have Mimikyu here to stall for time. It can't get hit by attacks from Pokemon EX and Pokemon V. So this could buy you a turn or two in the meantime. And you can get some chip damage in here with Ghost Eye. It lets you drop seven damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. And then we have Radiant Greninja. We're not going to be attacking with this card. We will just be using it for concealed cards where you get to discard an energy and draw two cards. For trainer cards, we've got one copy of Hisui Heavy Ball. This is a new inclusion in the deck. Let's you look at your prizes and grab a basic Pokemon you find there. This is going to be great to grab stuff like your Drifloon, your Screamtail, your Greninja, your one of Pokemon, of which we have a bunch of here. Heavy Ball can help save us on that regard. Two copies of Countercatcher. This is a new card as well. When you're behind on prizes, you can use this as a boss's orders alternative. And oftentimes we are going to be behind on prizes. So Countercatcher is a great include in the deck. Lots of ways of HP modifying. So the League Battle deck comes with three Bravery Charms. We're going to take out two of those. We're going to replace one with Luxurious Cape, which gives you plus 100 HP. However, when you get knocked out, you are going to cough up two prizes instead of one. I think a lot of times you're, you can give up one two prizer, but more than one is probably not good. So we have one Luxurious Cape here. And then we also have a Hero's Cape, which is an A spec. It's plus 100 HP, but you don't have to drop an extra prize. So this is a fantastic inclusion for protecting or giving your, um, your Drift Loons and your Screamtails more damage so that they can swing even harder. One copy of Town Store. This is the only stadium I have in this build. So the Artisans I've taken out, you could consider putting those back in, but we use this to grab Pokemon tools from our deck, which is incredibly important because a lot of the times we need to grab these tools as well as our TM Evo so that we can get rolling. Two copies of Nest Ball to get our basics down. I took out two from the original build and instead we've replaced them with four copies of Buddy Buddy Poffin. This lets you search your deck for two Pokemon, two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. So this is just a straight up upgrade, getting two Curlias down or two Raltas down or getting your Manaphy and Jirachi down. Buddy Buddy Poffin is amazing for that. And you are, unlike Battle VIP Pass in the past, you are not limited to the first turn in the game. So in the mid game, you can get all of these back as well. Three copies of Ultra Ball, discard two cards, grab any Pokemon that we like. Also great for discarding energy to get that into the discard pile so Gardevoir can accelerate it later. Uh, added one copy of Palpad to get two supporters from our discard pile back into our deck. We've cut the boss's orders count down to one. We are going with the two counter catchers and then one copy of boss because sometimes when you're ahead, you still want to get that gust for that game winning knockout. Another new card here, Professor Turo Scenario, lets you put one of your Pokemon in play into your hand. This is a great way of scooping up Gardevoir in a scenario where it could get knocked out for two prizes and or even something with a luxurious cape that somehow survived. You can pick those up and make sure that they don't get hit on the following turn have Arvin here, incredibly important card. I've added two more to the deck because it lets you search for an item and a tool and getting the tool cards in particular is so important to this deck. So having the four Arvins plus the town store gives us at least five outs to drawing into those tools. TM Evolution is a important card in this deck as well. Generally speaking, you want to go second so you can play a supporter and you can use TM Evo where you, for one energy, you get to choose two of your bench Pokemon and evolve them up a step. So that lets us go into this our second turn with two Curlia ready to go. One can go into Gardevoir and uh, get rolling from there. Two copies of Super Odd, so added one more to the deck because this is a great recovery tool for our Pokemon. Let's us grab up to three in any combination of basic energy and Pokemon. Only one copy of Rare Candy. I think the post-rotation builds have kind of freaked me out with only one, but I found that one Rare Candy is totally fine with the way that the the meta is right now and the way the deck is built. One Rare Candy is good. And then four copies of Iono for Hand Disruption. Love getting to see a whole bunch of new cards while also shortening our opponent's hand as well. And even if we make our hand shorter, we usually have the Curlius to help us draw back up. And then last but not least here, two copies of Earthen Vessel. You get to discard a card while also grabbing two energy from the deck. We are running a little less energy than what normally is in, I think, a pre-rotation Gardevoir deck and what the League Battle deck comes with. So Earthen Vessel helps us search out that energy quickly. And then last but not least, we've got eight energy. 
So general game plan, I like to go second with the deck and ideally stall for time with something like a Mimikyu. Sometimes you can't, and you're gonna have to put something else in the active, but ideally you wanna go into turn two with two Curlias rolling, and then ideally get Gardevoir rolling on that second turn as well and start swinging with a Drifloon or a Screamtail. If you need more time, you can stall with Mimikyu. And in certain instances, you can even copy your opponent's attacks with Mew EX for some very cool plays. I think the deck is very strong in the current meta. There was a lot of talk about me or Gardevoir possibly being dead. And no, it turns out Gardevoir is looking very good. And based on some of the results I'm seeing from Japan, it might get even better f further down the road once the Twilight Masquerade cards come out as well. Here's a quick summary of the cards that I added to the deck. One Mimikyu, one Manaphy, one Jirachi, one Screamtail, four Buddy Poffin, Two Countercatcher, two Earthen Vessel, one Heavy Ball, one Pal Pad, one Super Rod. And then I also added two Arvin, one Professor Turo Scenario, one Hero's Cape, one Luxurious Cape, two TM Evos, and one Town Store. And this is just one build. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna find a bunch of other lists on Limit List and you'll experiment on your own. Uh, but I do wanna share a couple of other cards you can consider putting in your League Battle deck. I think the one that you really should add is the 70 HP Ralts from this, I think this is Silver Tempest. No, Astral, I think it's Astral Radiance. With the Teleportation Burst, wherever it's from, the one with 70 HP is the important thing here. And you'll want three to four of those as your go-to Ralts. You could add a Fluttermane here. Its Midnight Fluttering ability is very annoying for a lot of meta decks, prevents them from using their abilities on their active Pokemon. Buddy Catch Gallade can be really nice in the deck, helps you grab a supporter of your choice from your deck as a once per turn thing. And its attack Swirling Slice is not bad either, Klefki can shut off basic abilities on Pokemon and both yours and your opponent's. So keep in mind, if you have Mew and Klefki, they kind of don't go together. So um, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, Airy is a great tech as a one or two of where your opponent reveals their hand and then you can discard one or two, you can discard up to two items from there. One Collapse Stadium to bump any sort of uh, liabilities from your bench get those out of there especially if you're still playing with the Luminion which I have taken out of my build but if you want to have Luminion in there still put the Collapse Stadium in there as well Damage Pump can help you move the damage a little bit so you can crank the damage even higher on your Drifloon and one shot a Charizard with a Bravery Charm on. So uh, definitely a cool tech in there. And then Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking, something to consider as Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking is worth considering as well because it lets you look at or lets you look at your deck, grab two cards and then put them on the top of your deck, which you can then draw with Curlia or Greninja. All right, let's get to some matches. And that's a problem. Okay, they, they start with the Radiant Charizard. That's awesome, actually, for us. And we do get a Buddy Poffin here. We get the Arvin. We have everything we need for turn one, at least. So we might not even play Arvin right now to start. Incinera, weird start. Oh, double Poffin? Oh, we are... We're laughing right now. Okay. Now, I think there's also an argument to be made of not going too wide, but like this, this thing is not, I don't think I'm too scared of the, yeah, he's, he's so happy that I'm building up my bench, but like, oh no, I don't want to, ooh, uh, a mimic is actually kind of go goaded here. Yeah, we'll take that for later. And I will. Let's go and get the mimic you out on the board and threaten with it. Um, let's go attach energy. And let's go grab a. Let's go grab an earthen vessel so we can get some more energy in there. And then what do we want? as a tool. Oh yeah, we need the evolution. Yeah, we need that. <laughs> oh, we have that as a tool. Okay. I, I'm a, I'm a fool. Let's go and grab some more energy. And I am, yeah, we can go and comfortably get rid of some with Greninja at this point. We do get the Drifloon. 
And I don't think we need to use that right this second. Yeah, I think we can just evolution here. One Curlia. Two. There's no point in setting up more than... Four at any given time. Yeah, Screamtail with all of the energy can one-shot a... A Incineroar here. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, they're going to get their Jacques. They might be smashing right now. Oh, they get the Toracat instead. Okay. That potentially leaves the door open for us to get a Bench Snipe. Potentially? With a... A Screamtail here? They do have the Manaphy. Ah, they have the Manaphy down, so we can't Snipe. That's, that's unfortunate. Hmm. <clears throat> They did get rid of an Incineroar. But yeah, they've got one card and they've they've left literally left themselves with one card. Okay. Um that's fine. Let's go and conceal cards. We get the Screamtail. That's actually good because we can uh, we can't snipe out the Torcat. We can hit with... Okay, we have to find Gardevoir. Have to, have to, have to find Gardevoir. Okay, there's Gardevoir. All right, so... If that's the case... Uh, Drifloon will take this out with three energy. Screamtail... Yeah, let's actually use a Drifloon now. And yeah, Jirachi start. That that does kind of suck. Buddy Poffin, I don't think we need no, we don't need that. We're holding pretty much everything we want at this point. So Okay, we definitely don't want to Iono. And Earthen Vessel, we can kind of hold on to that for now. We have all the energy we need for a attack. One. Two three and we will knock out the radiant charizard and we'll leave it now let's see what they have they probably don't like it's one card <laughs> they have played themselves into a corner and we will be we're looking pretty good right now we have pretty much everything we need i mean they could just attack with the torah cat too and knock this out Okay, they get their Bibarel. And it might actually be beneficial to attack with... They're going to get their... It might be beneficial to attack with the... With the Mimikyu first. And soften up. Because we, we, we can one-hit KO the Drifloon if we can get the Luxurious Cape, but I don't know if we're going to get the Luxurious Cape. So, like, if we had... Okay. We were getting burned. That's fine. Let's go bring up the Mimikyu, and we'll figure out what attacker we want, because we could also just go in with a Screamtail and snipe out a, a Litten and just make it a one-for-one -one trade in the immediate term. Let's go and Earth and Vessel. And we have a couple more energies here. I think we're going to have to hold on to... Well, we don't necessarily have to hold on to one. An Arvin would be nice here. We can do 300 to the Incineroar, but I don't know if that's worth it right this second. Okay, let's go and mill... We'll refine away the... I think we get rid of the energy. Okay. This is not not exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, we needed the... Okay. If this is what we get, right? We can go... And leave it at that. And I think we'll play it conservative here. And we'll go with the Screamtail and we'll just go and snipe off the bench. And we arguably could just say bet you don't have a gusting option as well. 
and soften this up. And maybe we do that. Couple ways to go about it. Or we can just take a prize with the Screamtail right now. And then we have the Drifloon waiting in the wings. I think we do that. I think we do that. I think we'll take the... We'll take the snipe with the with the screamtail. We'll knock out the litten and we'll give ourselves more time to. And you know what? We could even play Turo scenario. Ah, we'll, we'll leave that. They're not one shot in Gardevoir. And we'll hold on to our tools for now. Does what trainers do we have? It's just Arvin. So let's go and roaring scream and we'll knock out the litten in the on the Oh, we can't. We can't. We had the Manaphy. I forgot about the Manaphy. That was dumb. I shouldn't have gone in with the Screamtail. Okay. Well, uh, good to know. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely shouldn't have done that. That was a... I should have just gone in with the Mimikyu at that point and forced them to get a Gust instead of getting a KO at, right now. So, at least we have the Knockout on Incineroar. And we can Hand Disrupt as well. So we'll use Mimikyu in the active. And yeah, we've softened this up at this point. We will get the Screamtail back and the Drifloon for that matter, actually. So we'll go Screamtail, Drifloon, and we'll leave the energy in the discard pile. Not too worried about those. Let's go and grab a Drifloon. And I could start milling some stuff. I like our hand. Our hand is nice and big. Ah, uh, no, we want to Iono. We want to Iono here. So let's go end here. Uh, do we want to Iono? That gives them four cards. We have a billion cards. And we have lots of options after that. Like we can get... I think the card I really want is... Yeah, we can get our Screamtail back. I think four energy will do it. 240, 240 plus 80. Uh, yeah, let's see. This is going to be 240. That's 320. Um, yeah, 240 plus 80. I'm, yeah, that's 320. Uh, let's go and... I'm going to Iono. I'm going to Iono here. I know they have the protection with the Beebrel. Okay, we get the Arvin. The Arvin's the most important thing here that I wanted. The rare candy, I think we can get rid of at this point. And we get another Drifloon. And we can smash for 240. And that's going to be enough. And then when the next one comes up... Yeah, when the next Incineroar comes in... We can go and grab our ace spec and just obliterate with a second Drifloon. Yeah, let's go and see what they... Okay, they get their rare candy and they'll hit for a lot. They got the Magma Basin down to help build up the lit and that actually makes it easier for us because that... That brings the the third Incineroar at a breakpoint where we can one hit KO it. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so they have. Yeah, right now, yeah, 240. Like, if we have to hard retreat the Gardevoir, we totally can. All right, I've never seen Incineroar. <laughs> I've never, I fought Incineroar once. Okay, they get to drop. I fought once, I got destroyed. Um, but I think this is, I know non-meta, but like Incineroar is hitting incredibly hard. We we are a deck that requires a wide bench and that's kind of a challenge. They have the Manaphy down, so we can't snipe. We have to brute force our way through the active and that kind of sucks. <laughs> 
I think we Arvin. Uh, do we Arvin or do we just use the the luxurious cape and say that's enough? And then it's just one prize at that point. Okay. Let's play Arvin and see what we get. Uh, yeah, my concern is if they they Iono here. Uh, let's go and get rid of... Hmm, I can get rid of Buddy Poffin and Heavy Ball. And let's just see what we have. If we prize the, if we prize the other cape, then that changes... Oh yeah, we prize the other cape. So we have to use this one right now. All right. I should have kept the Heavy Ball. All right. Cool. Um... Oh, hold on. Cancel. Yeah, we want... We'll grab something here. Let's go grab a Screamtail. All right. If we... If we know... We know what we have now, right? Um, are we behind on prizes? If we are behind on prizes, we can go and just get... Hmm. No, we are not behind on prizes, so we have to go in with the... Okay, this is annoying. This is annoying. Uh, let's go retreat. And we will go in with the luxurious cape. Damn. Okay. We'll strap up. Let's go and get rid of the... I think we get rid of the nest ball. And we could Turo here. As, uh, no, we don't want to Turo here. Yeah, we could Arvin. I think we hold on to our hand. And we smash. And we hope that in the next go round. Actually, you know what? I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of the... We're going to have to get another attacker here. Oh, no, we have Screamtail. Screamtail with enough energy can smash a third Incineroar if it came down to it. Three hundred. This should do it. Yeah, that's doing three hundred sixty damage. So we can leave it at that. That's a lot of damage with a Drifloon here. So three sixty. And hopefully we get one of our damage modifiers here. The A spec, please. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good spot. Good spot. Yeah, they're in a tough spot, even if they have the final Incineroar. They're just not in... They're not doing enough damage to one-shot Gardevoir. We can just heal Gardevoir off. The Screamtail with the with the Hero Cape is going to be enough. Now, if they, if they Iono us, then, you know, different story. I think even then, it's still going to take them three turns to take the win. They take three single prizers or... Let's see how they play it, though. But yeah, Drifloon with the ridiculous power, even if this isn't necessarily a, a meta matchup per se. Ooh, the Iono is bad. Okay. We know the pieces are in here. Mew EX. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. We might have to play Mew. Um, if they evolve up to Incineroar. Oof. Oh! They don't knock us out. They don't knock us out. So we just get to hit for 480 damage. Okay, cool. Yeah, they weren't able to uh, pull it off. So we'll just go and swing for 480 and take the win. GG's. And I know that's not a, not a meta matchup, but Gardevoir still hits incredibly hard. And we are, like, th the Drifloon with the modifiers is going to smash everything in the game. Any multi-prize deck, you are going to have a great time against. Yeah, it's a little more, it's a little trickier to getting the damage up there because you're going to have to also get a cape or some sort of damage mod on there. But it's it's still very much possible. Mimic, you can help you stall for time, and we could have used that. Um, we probably should have in that one point. I for totally forgot Manaphy blocks the the scream tail there but yeah regardless we like this is this was the guard of our game plan is to 
go in with the single prizers that can up trade against the multi prizers and that was just going to be a really tough match for incineroar to overcome and there's a lot of other meta decks that just kind of have a hard time against gardevoir because they we just trade really well with the amount of damage that we do ggs i don't like that at least they don't get to attack for great tusk mill uh not actually you know what we could do the funniest thing <laughs> we could do the funniest thing is if we just keep playing memory skip then they lose <laughs> They'll have to attack with the giant tusk. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to keep in mind that, yeah, we're going to have to set up eventually because we will put ourselves in a position where they can. Okay, do we want to go for Guardi? I don't think we have to. Um, Mimikyu is not going to help us here. I'll go Ralts. And let's go and... Let's go memory skip him. Yeah, we'll just memory skip. And we're going to say, bet, you're not milling us. <laughs> okay. They can't boss us. They can prime catcher us one time and mill four cards, but is that worth it? Let's go see how they approach it. Are they going to swing with the Great Tusk? I don't know if it's worth it. Like, we'll just keep memory skipping them over and over again, and we'll keep setting up our board to a point where we can just start obliterating their Great Tusks. This is a funny matchup. Yeah, they're going to start building up for that attack. That's kind of hilarious. Now, if they they have the Sada, they oh they can't Sada's Vitality right now. They can explore his guidance, but they're not going to get they're not going to get rolling here. And yeah, we force them to swing with the giant tusk, but we should start setting up soon. I don't think we can win the game entirely on memory skips. It'd be hilarious though. Now, ooh, they had to get rid of the Pidgeot. Um, if we... If we boss up another Great Tusk and then say bet... Like, they don't... This deck doesn't really run switch outs. We could just stall even longer. Huh. That is a thing we could do. And just buy ourselves another turn. And force them to build up another one. I'm pretty sure they don't. Mm. No, let's go and it would be funny to boss up the other one. Let's go and try and get the rest of our board set up. Okay. Um, I think we take the opportunity now to get the curlias in play i think it's more important for us right this second to evo evo up the two raltzes into curlias and hey memory skipping them is fun and maybe we could win that way maybe it's better if we do it that way ionos are very important here it prevents them from being able to mill out our cards or at least we get to reset our hands. Screamtail seems very good in this matchup. We can just start sniping stuff off the bench. Okay, we're going to have at least, yeah, 180. So we're going to need a fourth damage modifier here. Is Screamtail... Oh, no, we don't. We've already done two damage here so yeah Drifloon can knock out on the next turn now hopefully they don't get too much going here okay they draw one let's 
Okay, psychic energy. Interesting. Uh, I wonder what psychic ancient attacker that could be. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna eat a mill here, unfortunately. And hopefully they don't mill anything too bad. We do have two super rods. We should be okay, I think. And yeah, again, we could have potentially just memory skipped them forever. Oh no, the hero's cape does suck. The hero's cape does suck. Okay, let's go and get rid of some energy. And we can, in fact, let's go refine. We are milling ourselves here. Let's go and we don't need the rare candy anymore. Uh, actually, do I want to use the rare candy? Uh, using rare candy would be nice. I think we get rid of the Arvin. And we get ourselves... Yeah, let's go grab ourselves the Gardevoir right now. Okay. We go into the Drifloon. And Drifloon now is doing with three... I mean, I don't even have to... Yeah, I think we have to charm up here. 180. So yeah, with the three... Yeah, where I want to be careful is, yeah, they can start counter capturing stuff. And that would be very annoying. So let's go and I'm not going to put Greninja on. Ah, Greninja is not bad. Okay, we're doing 360 here. Oh, because we hit them for weakness. So that's fine. Let's go and smash for 360. Now, where this can get annoying is we need to be able to retreat Gardevoir EX when they inevitably trap it. And we're going to have to find two more energy to throw in our discard pile. So we do need to get a little more in there for when they do that. Run that play. Yeah, Quad Iono is very good in this matchup. And we also have Palp. We've, we've used one. Hopefully we can, we don't get like milled of our Palpad. They do get their Pidgeot back. Unfortunately, that's going to help them a great deal. Okay. Very curious to see how this match plays out. Again, there probably was a world where we could memory skip for a long time. They would be swinging with the Great Tusk though. They do have that. Uh, giant tusk attack, which we were going to have to deal with eventually. So that's why I pulled off pulled off the gas when we did. Uh, Mew EX could be good as a way of... Because they're not going to knock us out. I don't think they're knocking us out <laughs> ever. They're, their main goal, and they can counter catch with the Gardevoir. And... Oh, the Curlia. Interesting. Okay. And they'll go mill some cards. Hopefully we don't lose anything too bad. Okay, just an energy. That actually helps us getting one in the discard pile. And let's actually put the Mew on. And let's go Iono here. Hopefully we can Iono back in those pal pads. Okay. And we get to refine away the energy. And we get some more energy, which is great. Though, I think we have what we need at this point. I don't like that the game is not uh, glowing for me. Now, where we could run into trouble is that at a certain, the next time they gust up this Curlia, we have to make it a... We have to make it a... Um, yeah, we can't retreat it that way. Uh, we, can re uh, we can actually get some more energy with the Earthen Vessel. So that might actually be a, a good trick here. Let's get rid of the Jirachi. We're not going to need that. We grab two energy preemptively. And we'll attach it to the Curlia because they're going to try and gust that up again. And let's go see with the Heavy Ball with what we got. Luxurious Cape, Buddy Puffin. And one of our Curlias is trapped, uh, which is a little annoying because I really would like more than one right now. 
to mill cards of our own. Uh-oh. We have 18 cards. Uh-oh. There's a Curlia. Yeah, we might be milling through our cards a little too fast here. Hmm. Palpad would be great. Reset our positions here. And if anything, it might be worth it to... I think we need a second Curlia in order to... Holy cow, they keep hitting on these Sadas. Okay. Okay. Hopefully they don't counter catcher here. Yeah, they're gonna counter catcher. And let's see what they probably go after this Gardevoir, actually. Nope. Okay. That's fine. We have the energy in hand. We're not gonna have to do any damage to it. It will get annoying soon though, because at a certain point this is gonna we can't hard retreat it with just energy. Okay, they're gonna land collapse. We lose a Curlia. We lose an Arv. We lose a Rod. Uh, Rod, I don't think matters. And we will get rid of. Let's go and hard retreat. And I actually kind of want to mill some stuff here, which feels counterintuitive, because we need cards in hand. But I don't like what we have right now. I'm gonna refine away this Buddy Poffin and try and get. Something else. So Turo's good. Um, Turo's actually amazing here. That heals off. That heals off this Curlia. And we can go. Yeah, trapping these is not going to be any issue anymore. And hopefully we don't lose an Iono here on the next. Hmm. I need to draw into an Iono so we can reset our hand. Do we want... Okay. Let's go and Curlia one of them. I don't want to do... I don't want to get too too greedy here. Okay. We're going to Palpad in uh, both Ionos to reset our hands. And do we get down... They're not going to attack us, right? Like, they're absolutely not going to attack us. And I, again, I don't want to mill through all of our stuff. Okay, let's go and Balloon Blast again. There should be four Ionos in the deck. Hopefully they don't mill through all of them. And hopefully we have not over milled ourselves. Okay, they're going to explore his guidance. Yeah, they're going to mill another four cards. This is cringe. Okay, they throw away their Mimikyu. And counter catcher up. Yeah, the Curlia. Uh, do we still have the Gallade? The Gallade is still in the deck some we might lose the Gallade here, and that would actually be incredibly unfortunate. At which point we would be Oh, they just scoop G Jeez. Alright, so a uh, weird match there. Weird match. Didn't get to do a lot of the, the firepower stuff that we normally do, though being able to smash through a great tusk for 200 with the Drifloon was very nice actually we were hitting it for weakness so that helped a lot the mimicu for them wasn't gonna matter and having i think we we maybe were a little a little aggressive in milling our own cards but quad iono is an absolute plus palpad is a godsend in this matchup where we can just keep resetting our hand as needed and is it possible to play this match through with just you know uh, memory skipping land collapse over and over again maybe maybe we can but i did not want they were 
definitely in position to get that giant tusk attack off with that double turbo and the fighting energy i got scared i didn't want to get caught with my pants down so i decided to start setting up our board and you know for whatever reason our opponent decided that they didn't have what they needed to push through the finish line here so we take the win ggs and let's see what we are up against okay iron bundle turn one it's lost box okay so lost box is kind of a rough matchup we have to get a jirachi at some point <laughs> the hyper blower ability is super annoying and they do play a lot of single prizers okay they it's a dark so they have a roaring moon in here that that's annoying but it's not necessarily the end of the world okay we get a mew I'm not sure if we want to play Mew right now. Um, I'm going to play Mew. I'm going to put energy on the Mimikyu. I'm going to pray that we are going to find something of value here. Oh, God. Uh, that's not necessarily... <laughs> Okay, they have one in the Lost Zone. We don't have to get Jirachi down right now. We do need to save room for Jirachi, though. If we play... Yeah, we have no attackers right now, which I think is... Oh, we can... Here we go. We Town Store. And we get ourselves... Ooh, ooh we prized one of our Ace Specs. I should have looked more closely to see what else we prized. And I will, do we bench the Greninja? I have no energy right now, so I don't think we have to bench the Greninja. The Greninja might be good for tanking a hit from Cramorant though. That's something that I, I'm gonna bench the Greninja and let's go TM Evo and we will get two Curlias up. <gasps> oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. We only have, we've prized two Curlias. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that's one way to find out. Again, price checking. So important. I'm so, so bad at it. Let's go and put up, I'll put up Mew. I should have put up Greninja. That's okay. This is kind of annoying, though. Ugh. They are going to get to four. Let's see if they get the cram hit in. Yeah, Mew might have been a mistake. I, I always feel like if I can play it, I should. But oftentimes, yeah, I'm not great at exercising restraint when it comes to these cards. But they've still got a pretty bad start. Like, if this is it... Oh, here we go. Here's the cram. Yeah. Swinging for 110. Yeah. That's annoying. Not necessarily the end of the world. Temple of Sinnoh, I don't care. We do lose Town Store, though, and that does suck. Uh-oh. Here's the Buddy Poffin. Damn. Yeah, what we're, where we right now don't have room for is both a Jirachi and a... I don't think they're going to get six in the Lost Zone in the next go-round. But, okay, I'm actually going to get rid of the Countercatcher here. That may... I may regret that later. Ooh. Let's go and hit this Curlia now. I will grind up a Ultra Ball. Okay, uh, rare candy would have been nice. <laughs> Let's go and get a energy here. Now we need an attacker. Um, if we go into a scream tail, we could snipe out the. Hmm. I don't know if we want to do that, but 
Okay, there's our Gardevoir. That's good. And we have the Drifloon, which is also nice. Um, we have no... Hmm. Ooh, could I... I could have possibly Greninja sniped here. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Like, we could have powered up. Okay, that's something to keep in mind, is we could have a Greninja Snipe play. Okay, we will Iono, though. Mm. Let's go and grind up this Ralts. Okay. I'm going to grab... And also keeping in mind, we have left our board exposed to a, a Greninja Snipe play, which is annoying. Okay. Let's go and... Oh, we can draw up with Mew. Yeah, because they can snipe out this Mew and take three prizes here. There's the Jirachi. And that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Buddy Poffin is nice. Let's go Drifloon. We only have two energy in the discard pile. Ooh, that's not not ideal. I think we can we're still fine for attacking this thing, but yeah. We will end. You know what? I'm gonna no. We'll 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 attack here. Actually, if I attach the third energy, it's not gonna do more damage, but they're probably gonna knock me out. So I will take that energy in the discard pile. Okay, we get a Curlia. Really not looking for a Greninja Snipe here. That would be bad. They can take three prizes right now, and I would be very sad. They get rid of Sableye. Interesting. I doubt they play two. Hmm. Have we seen any water energy? I don't think we... Ha ah, yeah, we they, they, the Greninja Snipe is absolutely in play. So this may have been a horrible, <laughs> horrible mistake. Let's see. Okay, they've got eight in the loss, so they did get rid of Roaring Moon. A lot of cards. And let's see how they, they approach it here. Yeah, interesting they got rid of Sableye, though. Like, maybe we were okay to go without the Jirachi? All right, let's see. Buddy Poffin's going to be very indicative here of where we go next. If they have another Sableye here. That would be kind of sad. And yeah, Buddy Poffin means they're not going multi-prize. Oh, they're just going to brick on the Poffin? Interesting. I don't know what their what the strategy is then. Okay, yeah, they're going to go for the Greninja and probably take three here. Uh, that sucks. But yeah, they absolutely should do that. Hmm. Yeah, they're probably... They're going to hit us for three. That feels bad. So the Mew is a mistake. Mew is a mistake. If we had gotten the drop on them, that would have been amazing. But we did not. So yeah, I would take out the Drifloon and the Mew right now. And that puts us in a weird spot. Yeah, we're going to be behind two prizes. Oof. I'm not sure how we how we come back from that, but we'll we'll see. Heavy ball. Oh, they get another cram too. 
Yeah, how do we gain ground? Because, yeah, falling behind three prizes might be too much. They did get rid of a Roaring Moon, though. I didn't see any Lightning Energy, so I don't know if they have the Iron Hands play. Oh, interesting. They left the Drifloon in. Yeah, they take out the Mimikyu. They probably save this as an easy target for later. Okay, we have to respect the Greninja because they can blast that later. Um, let's go and grab ourselves. Do we get the Manaphy and the Jirachi down? Then we have no draw for the rest of the game. Um, we'll play the Jirachi. Mm, if I play Manaphy Jirachi, I block everything. But then I have... Ooh, can we? If I play both, I think that might be overzealous. Let's go and play the one. How much energy do I have in the one, one in the discard pile? If I... Because I could come in with Mew. I could potentially come in with Mew. And... Okay, let's pal pad in both of these Ionos. I could potentially come in with Mew, copy the Greninja attack, and then snipe out two. And that gives us, that puts us back in the game, sort of, kind of, I think. Let's go. Okay, so if we retreat... Um, if I attach one and then retreat, that that's one energy down. I think we're still short. Let's go and see what we can do here. Um, yeah, being able to snipe out. Okay, yeah, we retreat one. That's three. That's 60. Um, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. And maybe we go in with the Jirachi after. Yeah, if we snipe out this Comte and... Yeah, we snipe out the one with the energy and we snipe out one with the board. And then I think we have to respect potentially another Greninja snipe. So I think we have to bench the Manaphy at this point. And we will genome hacking the Greninja. And we'll Moonlight Shuriken. This is what a crazy sequence of events here. That pushes us back ahead. And let's see what they can do. We, I... <laughs> uh. I mean, they could just oh they they could just attack with the Comfe and take this out, and that would be really sad. Hmm. What a what a match! I would not foresee. <laughs> okay, they're gonna go into the Comfe, and they cannot Sableye. They cannot Greninja here. Uh, we cannot Greninja for that matter. Yeah, we can't get two more energy on without knocking out Mew, so... Uh, actually, yeah, we could Hero's Cape, the Mew, and then boss up. They're gonna play Manaphy, so we can't snipe anymore. And they're gonna take two prizes. And I don't know how we come back if they take this out. Oh, Prime Catcher, the... Interesting, they Prime Catcher, the... Hmm. We can play Super Rod to get that back. That's fine. Three. Okay. If we caught, we can't can we don't we can't cancel in Cologne, so we can't go around. Yeah, we can Arvin here. Oh, we get the Super Rod. That's fantastic. And we will go Jirachi. And do we even need the Ralts at this point? Maybe? Um, I don't know if we do. The Ralts and the Curly are kind of clog up the bench at this point. So I think we just want the Jirachi. Yeah, let's go and just the Jirachi. 
and we'll buddy puffin up the Jirachi. And this is doing 120 damage. Uh, I could boss up their Manaphy and potentially give ourselves a... There's no damage counterplay we could make though, right? So I think it's just a matter of... I think we just Iono here. And yeah, I could put the hero's cape on right now. It doesn't necessarily... Bravery charm. I think their attackers still knock us out, though. So, like, I don't think it's worth it to go beyond what we need to. So, yeah, let's go Balloon Blast for 120. Um, If we do that 50, 30... Yeah, I don't think that that matters with the bravery charm so let's go and use the bloom blast here i guess i could put the bravery charm on the mew okay weird match here regardless of how this plays out there's the scream tail now they have no attackers how much energy is we only have we've only had four energy <laughs> working with which is terrible um okay we get rock santa too which is kind of bad we have no curlias yeah drawing the curlia here might have actually been bad if they can knock out this drifloon then we're actually kind of they could attack with the comfe and that puts us in a terrible spot <laughs> At this point, maybe we should have put the hero's cape on. I don't really know how we come back from this if they knock out the Drifloon at this point. Uh-oh. There's the first sighting of lightning energy. So Iron Hands is around. And they've got 10 in the Lost Zone. They can do some Sableye stuff. They did toss a Sableye. I don't know if they run two. But yeah, having to play both the Manaphy and the Jirachi has put us in such an awkward spot. I guess we could attack with Gardevoir. If it came down to it, we could attack with Gardevoir. And that might actually be our only option here. One, two, three. No, sorry. We have five energy in play between this and the Mew. Oh, and they flush the Iron Hands too? Interesting. Oh, here comes Sableye. Okay. If they're just going to drop a bunch on the Drifloon, then I think we just go in with the Gardevoir and then that's it. Yeah, having a second Sableye. Inter like, having two Sableyes is kind of uncommon these days but let's see how they play it let's see how they play it assuming they go in and they just take out the Drifloon and they lost zone the Iron Hands right yeah so they've got all their multi prizes are gone at this point okay they just get the energy back Okay. Hopefully we can get one more Iono. How many do we have left? We still have... I think we shuffled two back in, so... Yeah, we just go in with the Gardevoir. They're going to drop all. They know that they can't hit us right now. I think we power up the... And hopefully they don't play Canceling Cologne. And yeah, I hope we can just brute force our way with the Gardevoir. Let's go and put me in the active. And we can retreat later if we need to. I don't know. Buddy Poffin. Um, I don't think that helps us. What are our final two prizes? Turo and Curlia. Nope. Um, is it worth playing? It might be worth playing a... If we play the Drifloon... 
Yeah, I think we play the Driftloon, and if we have to, like last absolute worst case scenario. Oh, we can use Mew to draw cards. There it is. So Driftloon with the hero's cape gets us. Now, where we could run ourselves into trouble is is hero's cape going to get us out of trouble here with 110 hp on a mu ex going to be enough like we're not even going to be able to block cramorant at that point so is it worth it to put the hero's cape on yeah is cramorant still in no they, they've got access to cramorant if i put hero's cape on this they're still going to knock us out. So they can, if they get the Mew, like they get the Mew. 120. I could put it on the Drifloon, but I don't think it matters. Um, ah, it might. It might matter. So we'll do that. If they boss KO the Mew, it is what it is with a cram. All comes down to this. They need to take a two prize KO in order to win. I think the only way they win, if they got rid of Moon, they got rid of Hands. If they're setting up for an under, they need like, if they're going to go Greninja here. They need like a Greninja canceling Cologne situation, which they might have. I don't know. I don't know. But what an what a way to go. Ah, they have boss. Damn it. They have boss. Okay, so uh tough way to go out. Um, good match though. I think that one went pretty crazy. And yeah, we could have put the hero's cape on. We still would have lost, right? The 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 exact number of damage was a hundred 170, 270. Yeah, we would have lost there either way. Um yeah, maybe if we had gotten the Turo scenario, like at a, there might have been a play, a time to Turo scenario the Mew out of there, which could have uh, changed things around. But I thought we were dead after the first Greninja snipe, but we were able to hang around and make that a game to the very end. And yeah, it really came down to them having that boss's orders at the end. Um, really good sequencing on their part, and yeah, I. I kind of question them getting rid of their their multi prizers, but they were able to hang around, and that's kind of what makes Lost Box really strong. And this is one of Gardevoir's tougher matchups because of stuff like the Sableye and them having single prize attackers. We really run an uptrade there, and we couldn't. Um, and yeah, the the Mew attack, like we put all sorts of damage on the Mew. Like maybe we could have benched it. I think our downfall ultimately was the Mew at the beginning. Um. I don't know. Like we we also aren't in the game because we had the Mew in play. Had to take not taken that Cramoran hit, then we would have survived. Oh man, it's tough. It's tough to say. Um, but I thought regardless, I think that was a really tight game. Kind of showed us be, be, still being able to go toe to toe with a a single prize facing deck. And um, there are still some really interesting lines of play there. So kudos to our opponent on the pl that play and the win. GG's. There we go. That is a look at the Gardevoir League battle deck. I still think it's very strong. It has good matchups into multi-prize decks, into single-prize decks. I thought the uh, Incineroar match, while not meta-relevant, was a great example of how it can uptrade into multi-prize decks. The Great Tusk match was a really weird, interesting matchup, and we we have the means of getting through it. And the Lost Box match, I'm I'm very salty, mostly upset at myself. I should have, yeah, putting the Mew in the active at that moment. Like I didn't want to have to attach an energy to Greninja to retreat, but we ended up getting hit with the Mew, and that ultimately cost us the game. And we they didn't blast us on the following turn, which they could have, and I probably would have just scooped my cards, which made for an interesting match in the end. But then I had multiple turns 
to potentially get a Professor Turtle scenario to get the Mew out of the out of play. And, you know, even if I brought it back in, maybe for a snipe later, but I could have gotten it out of play and prevented that last attack from happening. So that's more my fault than anything. I hope that you, when you are in that matchup, that you don't make the same mistake I did. And um, yeah, just I will take the L here so that you guys can take the dubs going forward. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Again, congratulations on your new League Battle deck. Or if you plan on getting it, I'd say absolutely do it. The, the Gardevoir League Battle deck is one of the best that we have ever gotten. And um, it doesn't take too much to take it to the a competitive grade deck. And based on where Gardevoir is right now in the meta, it's looking very good. And probably only going up from here as Gardevoir is probably going to get more support in the future. All right, let's get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at In Third Person. You can find me on Twitch at In Third Person, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And check out the website, InThirdPerson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.